So I'm very happy to be here today uh, on the grounds of the Expo 2017 in Astana at the, the Astana Hub, which is uh, a new hub for uh, IT startups, mentoring them, helping them, and creating really a new center in CIS for all the startup ecosystem. So I'm joined today by uh, several uh, entrepreneurs from uh, Astana. These guys are really pioneers, and it's really good to, to have them there. And also Aigul from uh, the Astana Hub, who was really good in helping us uh, set this up. Uh, Nana, who's going to help me with some translation, because uh, uh, unfortunately, Unfortunately, uh, so she will help me with the translation. And so we have today with us two uh, of the uh, leading uh, startups in uh, Astana. We have uh, with us uh, Damir, who launched uh, Kaz Motors. And we have also with us Ali and Nikita of uh, Eventus uh, One. So first, before we start talking about each of your startups, I, I wanted to know uh, what did Astana Hub help you uh, develop? So if you want to start, Damir, what, what did Astana Hub help you with? Uh, actually, Astana Hub uh, give us some knowledge. Uh, they uh, explain how, how we should start, uh, like uh, how to avoid some mistakes, something like that. They give us uh, good knowledge. They give us a mentorship. Uh, actually, it helps. It helped you a lot. Yeah. So for you, what made you want to be an entrepreneur? Sorry, come again. Why did you want to start a new company? Why did you want to start Kaz Motors? Uh, all right, right, I got you. Uh, actually, it was uh, eventually. I, I didn't. I, I don't know how it uh, happened. I, I, I always wanted to be some something like producer. I don't. I didn't want to like uh, to work to anyone or like sell and buy. Do you know the, yeah. the stuff? I didn't want it. I, I just wanted to produce something. And one day, my, my friend of mine came to me and. Uh, like ex explain me his idea. Um, he actually, at that time, his father was selling the spare part for car. Okay. And he, his friends always ask him, like, uh, can you ask your father, does he okay. have this this part or this part? Okay. And uh, so we saw the problem, like people. So you saw the problem, yeah, and you find a solution to yeah, yeah. to this problem yeah, yeah. through the, through your app that allows people to find spare parts in uh, Kazakhstan uh, when they need them for their cars. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, yes, that's correct. Okay, great. That's what we do. Fantastic. We'll get back to, to, to this. Uh, All right. Ali, uh, for you, uh, what, what made you want to start your own company? And how did Astana Hub help you? Mm -hmm. uh, Russian, in, in Russian. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, ask. But stop for a while so can, Nana can translate and we can okay. follow up. Okay. Uh, сравнение с другими акселераторами, которых очень много в разных странах, сейчас это очень популярно. Это наверняка есть и в вашей стране, есть в нашей стране, есть на просторах Европы. И сам, самое лучшее, что получается, наш акселератор, он не входит в долю, то есть он помогает нам, он делает все то же самое, что делают все другие акселераторы, однако мы не должны за это давать свои доли, и это очень важно, я считаю, для любого стартапа и для любого предпринимателя. So in comparison with a lot of accelerators around the world, that are like enormously a lot, uh, this accelerator, they do not require to, uh, for them to share the bones or the parts or like um, some, um, uh, like the money they have uh, after uh, they are already accelerated. So okay. it is good for them. So they have, more free, to, yeah. they have more freedom to, they have more freedom to, and it's oh, free Astana to. Hub is free for startups. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Astana Hub is free for startups? Uh, yeah. Uh, as an office space and everything? Yeah, we give office space, we give education, we give mentorship, uh, acceleration program. So everything is free for our startups. Uh, the um, one rule is to um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the first rule is just to uh, like get through the selection to be oh, selected. Yeah. Right. To be selected. Okay. Understood. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, also, what what made you want to start your your, your company? What made you want to start this uh, uh, event? Uh, I understand. Uh, for a long time, we worked uh, as a uh, studio, and uh, we do a lot of things. Uh, uh, like sites, uh, platforms, uh, design, and uh, we worked about five years. Uh, and uh, one day we uh, made uh, our ticketing operator in Kazakhstan, 
and uh, worked with uh, some uh, same project. Mm -hmm. And we think, why not uh, anyone in Kazakhstan uh, work better than just a uh, ticketing operator? Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, opt experience. Ex we have a lot yeah. of experience uh, and uh, uh, some expertise uh, that allows us to do really great project. And uh, we just started working, uh, and uh, uh, half of a year, we just made our product, uh, product and uh, do it well because we have really great uh, programmers and uh, I think it's now uh, one of the most uh, simple and uh, interesting platform in uh, SNG. In the? Post USSR. Okay, all right, okay. all right. So, so uh, but what, uh, so, so you were already you decided to launch this project. Uh, what did your family think of you launching your own project? Is it something that people in, in, in Kazakhstan are used to, seeing young people launch and risk opening their companies, or they want to see their children go and be, uh, get a job and go from nine to five? What, what, is, what is the environment in your families or, or around you? Do people say, what, you're crazy? Why are you going to start your own company and do the risk? And, and take all this, or do they, and they, they would rather see you work from nine to five? How is the, how the general environment here? How, how people are with you? Um, uh, for example, my family is, uh, always helps me because, uh, and uh, uh, tell me, uh, j just do it. Uh, and so all of my life I'm uh, working for me, and uh, I do uh, a lot of things like uh, programming, design, uh, photography, uh, and so, a lot of uh, other things because uh, I was interested in it, in it and uh, I tried to um, uh, uh, get new experience, get new experience. So you were ready, what, what about you, Ali? Were you uh, also the same way or your family was telling you what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> no. Um. У меня история чуть другая. Я, получается, воспитывался в семье государственных служащих. Да, и они мне всегда говорили, что я должен пойти по стопам и тоже работать на государство. И у меня есть для этого все. То есть я закончил высшее образование, потом поступил на MBA, прошел краткую службу в армии, чтобы, ну, условно, быть человеком в погонах, да? So he has everything for that. He undergraduated and then he had MBA and had a military formation. Да, then, да, но потом, потом но, но где-то в душе я всегда чувствовал, что мне нужно больше свободы и что я хочу, ну, работать э, и зарабатывать больше, то есть без ограничений. So somewhere in the bottom of his heart, he has something bigger, and he thought that he should be working for uh, something bigger, some something bigger, your some own. bigger dreams. To yes. Something to follow your dreams. Да, да. И вот мы нашли команду, встретились с Никитой, и сейчас мы это реализуем вместе, все вместе на проекте Event One. Uh, so they formed a group, and now they are conducting what they want to do on the Event One, their Great. project. Great. What, what about you, Damir? Uh, it's uh, actually a little bit same to um, to Ali, but um, my parents are also businessmen. But f f uh, my, I think first few months they they didn't realize what I do. Uh, actually, it's like something new. It's not tra traditional. Absolutely. So they they couldn't understand what I do. So it's it was like как переживали как сказать. Uh, they've been worrying. Yeah, yes, they're okay. worrying about Parents me. Parents worry all the yeah, time, yeah, yeah. no worries, so it's, uh, it's <laughs> but, normal. But when I get some results, they, they become okay. Okay. It's okay. Well, they saw you from yeah, some so, that. So, so tell me now, for, so for you and within your friends also, your friends, how, how is it? Are they most of your friends are thinking of doing their own businesses or are they each one looking for a job? How is it? Uh, actually, most Quick of them. Quick answer. Uh, they're looking for a job. What about you? Они все хотят чем-то заниматься и хотят больше свободы. They want to do something, like they want to do the thing that they want, and 
They want to earn more. Okay. И, и чтобы было полное, они сейчас ищут свой путь. То есть ищут свой and путь, это важно найти свой путь перед тем, как начать что-то свое. They want to uh, have more freedom, and they are looking for their own pathways. Okay, which is good. Which is good. Same for you, or what about you? 50-50. 50-50. All right. Okay. Some of them doing something own, uh, okay. uh, and some of them working on uh, the work. So. Okay. All right. So. At this stage, uh, uh, besides uh, uh, being in, in Astana Hub, uh, are you st at the stage of raising uh, funds or you're still developing your project? Where, where are you situated now? We're working. Uh, okay. uh, we have clients uh, and uh, we work with them. We uh, try to make product better okay. and uh, working with uh, customer development and feedbacks. And uh, nowadays uh, we start selling uh, more aggressive and uh, starting to uh, go to the market. Okay. In your view, what problem are you solving? What, what are you disrupting? What problem? What are you changing on the, uh, in the, 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 the scene you're in? What are you changing? What are you making different? Uh, we make different a lot of things. Uh, it's, uh, some kind of these things are small uh, and some are really big for example for Kazakhstan mm -hmm. because uh, there, are, there are no one uh, tries to work uh, uh, by uh, themselves uh, in organizers. They just uh, call to ticketing operators, uh, say them that uh, I need to sell, uh, for example, a uh, thousand tickets, and uh, ticketing operator just sell it. Okay. Uh, we give them platform where they can, uh, by their own, mm -hmm. uh, um, do the whole, uh, start the uh, sales, and um, integrate with ticketing operators mm -hmm. uh, and uh, selling tickets from their sites and uh, sites and uh, it's much cheaper mm -hmm. and it's mu it much better because uh, they have everything uh, about the uh, events mm -hmm. um, um, they have analytics uh, they have a client base uh, they have a lot of instruments that so will you help integrate them. the entire industry and it's the yeah. First time yeah. It happens, uh, we we try to make uh, um, uh, one uh, billet platform. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, okay. It's not one billet platform, but it's like uh, they are in one the one ticketing uh, space okay. for Understood. every uh, ticket of. operator, okay. for every organizer, and okay. uh, for government. Great. Okay. It's uh, really okay. What do you want? Yeah. Мы работаем на одном проекте, Event One. Я хотел добавить. Uh, to add that, uh, they work like on the same project. Я недавно вернулся с Беларуси в выставке Тибо. Вот, кстати, Астанахаб uh, и наше правительство нас отправило туда. Мы классно защитили и показали свои проекты. Yeah, he was on the exposition in Belarus. Okay. Uh, so uh, they was they came they when they are from Asana Hub. Да, и мы получили большой, классный, ну это можно не переводить, фидбэк со стороны ребят из долины, там были ребята, и были люди с различным другим опытом, которые уже делали экзиты из своих проектов и зарабатывали уже миллионы. So they had a huge, like, great feedback from the people from, like, Silicon Valley, from other areas. That? Да, и главная идея нашего проекта, вот о чем я говорил, что мы изменим рынок, мы изменим рынок продажи билетов. So the idea of their project is that they they want to change the market and have like united ticket on like market and platform. Да, и и это в сравнении Eventum One с мировыми гигантами, как Eventbrite из Америки. So it's like comparing Eventum One to Eventbrite from America. Okay, understood. What about you? What what uh, what are you trying to change? Uh, actually, we are trying to solve the problem. Actually, it's uh, it's really hard for people to find the spare part for for their car. Mm -hmm. Actually, they have just few options. They can just browse the internet mm -hmm. and like search mm -hmm. like for what they need. Another option is just just go straight for for the market. Or, I mean, what is the size of the market for you? You think? Uh, it's about uh, I forgot. <laughs> wait, wait. Actually, we did the research, but I forgot. It's okay, no problem. Continue. So, so what is the problem you're solving? Uh, 
the spare, the spare parts, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, we are trying to to make it easy to find the spare part, and okay. we want people don't don't spend time for it. Okay. And so for for you guys now, just to to to, to make what what is uh, your objective? You wh when do you see uh, uh, is it to to become big within the Kazakhstan, within the CIS region, on a global level? What is your what is your your dream? Uh, do you mean how are we gonna uh, not not too much as as a, as a actual plan today, but what would you like to go? Where would you like? If you say it today, what is uh, uh, one entrepreneur uh, on the international scene that you look up to? Who would it be? Where would you your company? How would you like it to grow? You wanted to stay in Kazakhstan or to go to other markets and get bigger? Ah, yeah, we're gonna uh, go, go bigger, and we we think we can go for post USSR countries because I okay. think they uh, they are quite similar for us and uh, people. I think the problem is almost the same. Okay. We didn't research, but we think so. Okay. Should I, should I translate about the person? He he looks up. Получается, a человек, которого ты считаешь своим кумиром, допустим, как не знаю, Джек Ма, Возняк, да, not really. Not it's really. not the problem. <laughs> My papa so, so for you, you uh, same, same, same objective to to grow within uh, the CIS and to to make your business uh, bigger in the. Is that correct? Uh, yes, we uh, just trying to make a really international platform uh, for that can um, work in every part of the uh, planet, and uh, we. Uh, it's a dream to become a, a really big monster of the uh, ticketing platforms, uh, but uh, I don't think uh, that it's uh, one of the biggest dream because uh, uh, when you become bigger, you need to start uh, something new and try to go further. Um, you should go First, further. Go further. Okay. And, uh, so I, I go back to you, Agul, as, as being in Astana Hub, Elon Musk, and you see many, <laughs> many startups and many, many young entrepreneurs. Uh, how, how, how do you try and help them the most? What, what do you think they need the most when you see them like this? I'm here, I'll tell you in Russian. In general, we released the first wave of acceleration. It's 10 projects. They graduated the first uh, 10 uh, accelerated programs. Mm -hmm. Uh, это было 10 проектов. Uh, uh -huh. um, смотри, uh, то, что им нужно, определяли наши эксперты. Это были менторы, трекеры, и кому-то, допустим, нужны, было, нужны были инвестиции. Uh, то есть менторы им помогли привести инвестиции. Uh, кому-то нужно было изменить uh, бизнес-модель, допустим, и менторы помогли им изменить бизнес-модель. Yeah, so for example, um, mentors and trackers, they identified what this uh, project needed. Mm -hmm. And for example, if investment, they worked on that area, if the, something new, like... Um, Is changing business model, yeah. changing pivot. Changing business model, yes. Okay. Um, if they need pivot, they made this. Uh, we worked with, with them separately and uh, asked for, uh, from them what they really want. And okay. So made this analysis. No, yeah, but why are you making it longer? Go ahead, come on. Uh, it will be, uh, I think, yeah, much. Uh, yeah. Okay, understood. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I see. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I want to ask you a question today. How is the business community, the traditional business community that are in traditional businesses, uh, involvement within this? Um, uh, the, the startup scene, the nascent startup scene, because you guys, at the end, you're pioneers because it's something new to become an entrepreneur and to start a startup in uh, Kazakhstan is something new. How is the business community? Are they, do they want to invest? Uh, are they shy to invest? H how is it? Я уже говорил, что я вернулся из Беларуси. He came back from Belarus. Я ну, при, привез оттуда. No. Но, но, yes. но, но я привез оттуда очень много новостей и касательно и по казахстанскому рынку he в том числе. И единственное, что я скажу, вот плюс uh, к развитию uh, нашего сообщества, меня очень сильно порадовало, что в ближайшее время в Казахстане будет свой собственный синдикат, ну то есть своя собственная, своя собственная команда, 
инвесторов, ангельских инвесторов, которые будут инвестировать в казахстанские проекты. То есть теперь мы будем... У нас, у нас, нам не нужно будет ехать в другую страну, чтобы искать инвестора. Мы будем пользоваться собственными инвестициями, и это меня очень сильно порадовало. So, uh, in addition to the development of community of like business, uh, in Kazakhstan there will be a syndicate. Uh, the syndicate of the investors who invest, like they will be local. And, uh, for example, the startups that are here, for example, like an Astana Hub, they want to look up for them in the abroad market. So they will have this investor from Kazakhstan. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's still something that is developing and, and coming. Да, конечно, потому что одно дело, ну, искать инвестора где-то за рубежом, узнавать, ну, насколько, ну, то есть, быть, может быть, это ты будешь больше переживать за то, как вы будете работать. Другое дело, если он будет отсюда и, ну, это, ну, это, это более уверенно для меня. Uh, so uh, it is like a very different thing, for example, when the investor is from the abroad, you'll be worrying about that, but uh, when, it's, uh, when the investor is from here, you'll be more like uh, sure. Of course. Anyway, I tell you, you need, I mean, investors abroad, if they don't see local investors, they don't invest. And investing in startup is, is usually something that you do close, mm -hmm. you don't do remotely because you have to be close to the startup because there's help that needs to be to be done and so it's also your job and you need to also preach and convince people that they need to to uh, to bring in La last question i want to ask what is how is blockchain and icos and everything impacting is this something that you guys look at or you're just focusing on how you move you're not looking at this Ну, у меня вообще, в принципе, отношение к этому негативное. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a negative uh, отношение. как переоценено и most of them it's uh, they uh, just not working and uh, they're not developing a company yeah, they're just yeah, taking the we money just okay. uh, hype them and yes. uh, they're trying to get money on hype and yes. i don't think that it's okay so you want to build something that is real yeah yes. yeah very good what about you uh, actually i didn't think about it much uh, okay. first of all i, I want to um, make a product which is helpful which is uh, profitable okay so that's uh, like my first aim Okay. So I, and I, I didn't go for the, okay. for the yet. All right. So do you hear a lot of people telling you no when you want to bring a new partner, when you want to bring uh, work with somebody? People tell you no a lot or do you hear a lot of yes in your business? Do, do, do you get a lot of uh, uh, when you work? Do you find difficulties? I know usually uh, I hear it's good it's good idea it's like okay so, so you, you should go all for right. the okay all right great so I, I wanted to to thank you all uh, and I think that uh, uh, it needs uh, it's always a lot of courage to start your own business and to take your own responsibilities and I think that you're doing two good things you're doing something good for yourself but you're also doing something good for your country because your country needs young people like you that will work hard, develop and create because you're going to create jobs at the end. And the world is changing. So we're moving to a more digitized world. world and so we need people like you, young people like you. I didn't ask your age because after I'm going to feel bad, you know. I'm going to feel old then, so I don't want to. But you, you're young and you have to continue. You might not be successful on this project, but this shouldn't be the end of it. As long as you have the will to continue, you should continue and I'm happy that I came today and I met you all and I saw this spirit in Kazakhstan because I think it's very revealing of how the country is moving, the positive thing that, they are, that they are happening in the country. Being here next to, to Expo gives you a, a futuristic vibe as well. So we're like in 2030 today in Kazakhstan, we're not in 2018. So thank you very much for taking the time and, uh, and meeting with me and I, uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll hear uh, from all of you soon uh, in good and uh, successful way.
Thank you very much. Uh, we were happy to, to show you a little bit of what is happening on the startup scene and ecosystem in Astana. It's still a nascent uh, ecosystem, but thanks to Astana Hub and to young entrepreneurs, I think that within a few years, we'll hear very positive things from this country. Thank you very much.